if you are as old as I am, you might remember a family called the Jetsons. And one of the favorite characters of mine was Rosie the robot. She could do anything. Well, it seemed like Rosie is back and will be at ISSA Show North America. And someone that knows something about Rosie is Micah Green, the founder and CEO with Talos. Hi, Micah. Hey, thanks for having me, Jeff. Glad to have you. Uh, tell us a little bit about Talos um, and how'd you get that name? Yeah, for sure. So at Talos, we're building commercial service robotics, starting with cleaning. Uh, and actually some quick background on myself. I actually went to school for hospitality management uh, and worked as a housekeeper, a room attendant cleaning room. So that was the aha moment when I kind of learned about the true issues with the labor crisis um, and how it's only gotten worse since then. So um, so saw this huge opportunity, perfect time in history to bring robotics into the cleaning space within hospitality and, and beyond uh, in commercial real estate. Um, and the idea was born. So uh, it was also inspired by Rosie from the Jetsons. Uh, and that's our grand vision is to build a full out humanoid robot that could do anything you or I could do or more. Um, and I personally believe that this world has been built by humans for humans for this form factor. Um, so that's kind of the, the vision for the company. Uh, and then in terms of the name, we actually uh, started off as Maidbot. Uh, so some people might be familiar with, with Maidbot from the past. Uh, and we decided that just in terms of the vision, just going back to Rosie, um, you know, there, there's a lot that we can be doing beyond cleaning as well. Um, and also in terms of the technology we're building, it's, it's beyond just a robot. Uh, we have a lot of data analytics around what we're doing, AI, machine learning. Um, so yeah, Talos is actually the name of the first robot in history, uh, which was built by the god Hephaestus uh, to work with the humans and protect the humans of the island of Crete. Um, so it seemed like a perfect match because our whole mission is to build robots that empower humans. Uh, so it seemed like a great fit. Love the story. And obviously your passion for automation and robotics might be more than others, which is uh, reflected in your Innovation Award entry. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about your ISSA Innovation Award entry. Rosie, the robot, why don't you tell us all about this product? Yeah, for sure. So as I was a housekeeper cleaning hotel rooms, uh, I saw a huge opportunity to bring robotics into the space for cleaning as a whole. Uh, and I looked at the different tasks and realized that floor cleaning could take you know, up to 20% in the rooms, up to 90% in public spaces, and then just started to see so much opportunity in office space, airports, universities, stadiums, you name it. Um, so really, Rosie, our first step towards Rosie, the, the full humanoid robot, uh, is essentially a mini self-driving car. Uh, so we use LiDAR, cameras, a bunch of really advanced technology and algorithms uh, that I'd say are kind of years ahead of, of what's been out there in the past. And, um, and that helps, you know, the room attendants or, you know, the cleaning staff in these different settings uh, take on the vacuuming function uh, while they take on other tasks. Um, and then in addition to that, what we started to hear from some clients was, there's some big issues uh, in terms of kind of guest facing or tenant facing issues uh, as well. So in terms of the data side, we realized we could provide insights in terms of what's going on in the environment. Uh, everything from like Wi-Fi signal strength, uh, all the way to tracking the dirtiest areas, all the way to potential mold uh, to help you know operators deal with things proactively before someone complains about it. So that's essentially the, the product we have today. Um, and we're launching and, and ramping things up significantly right now. Robotics has come a long way since bumping into walls and moving around the room, I suppose. So thank you yeah. for those details. Now, Micah, we both know that there's Micah. other robotic uh, pieces of equipment, automation. How is Rosie the robot and what you're doing different? How is it innovative? Yeah, 100%. It's a great question. So I think, first of all, our robot is a smaller form factor, um, which is new for the commercial segment. Uh, but if you look, let's let's say Roomba, right, or one of these consumer robots is kind of the traditional question we get of how, how is it different? Um, I actually went in wondering why people weren't using these in the commercial uh, segment. So um, I heard really early on from owners and operators of hotels and cleaning uh, companies within commercial real estate that uh, literally it just would not, it, it's a non-starter. Uh, the number one thing they said was efficiencies. These robots take way too long. They take 30 minutes to an hour to clean, you know, one given space, uh, whereas they need these spaces cleaned in certain settings within 10 minutes, um, depending on the space. So 
uh, our robot is over 100% more efficient than the next best robot that we've seen out there in terms of efficiencies. Um, another factor is durability. So uh, our robot's designed to be used literally every single day, full shift for years and years on end. Uh, whereas these consumer robots tend to be more, you know, you use it a few times a week. Um, so these operators actually saw the batteries melt, the wheels burn out, uh, or motors burn out, the plastic parts breaking off. So not, not meant for this. Um, and then cleanliness is another huge factor, right? So those are actually more sweepers. Um, and, and even in commercial, there are more sweepers too. Whereas ours is a true vacuum and actually gets the better clean than the traditional standard upright vacuum that's used today. Um, and then the last piece, as I mentioned, the data side, um, both in terms of implementation. Uh, so now kind of getting into the commercial side of things, most commercial robotics takes, you know, can take weeks or months to implement and integrate uh, and train and get everything up and running. Uh, our robots ready to use right out of the box. There's no setup, no integration. It's really ready to use right away. So, so that helps with scalability. It's very versatile. So you don't have to train it or anything like that. Um, ready to use and, and uses the algorithms to clean. Um, and then, you know, going back to the data piece, we're collecting these insights that uh, no one else is, is really collecting today. Well, thank you for that. So thinking about the impact on the industry, those that are going to use Rosie the robot, what does it mean for them and their facilities? Yeah, so I think, you know, going back to, to what we spoke about earlier, um, there's this core, core challenge right now in the industry around the labor crisis mm -hmm. um, and just finding people. So uh, so there's a few kind of, you know, values that we see here and that, that some of our clients see today um, around, you know, filling some of those gaps, helping take on some of those tasks um, that also can contribute to a lot of injuries too. Uh, so helping just create potentially a better quality of work and life for these, you know, cleaning staff members. Um, and, and that could help with attracting and, and then retaining those staff members as well. Uh, and then just generally speaking, you know, the robot cleans everywhere. Um, so, you know, consistency of the clean, the quality of the clean, um, no, you know, cutting corners or anything like that. And uh, spot cleaning, it's really getting everywhere. So um, that could kind of elevate the, the asset as a whole. And then in general, um, just create better quality for, for the end user. I assume, I assume I'm going to see Rosie at ISSA show. Yeah, you'll see a, a few Rosies running few around. Few Rosies. Um, yeah, we actually have swarm set up now. So the robots can work together autonomously, which huh. that's never been done before uh, commercially, only the military for drones. So so you might see a few working together and talking to each other to to clean some of the floor. That sounds like a photo op to me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You should uh, bring your, your best camera. <laughs> I will. Well, Micah, thank you for your time today. And we'll see you and Rosie in Chicago. Thanks so much.